okay, now we've modeled moon phases. Let's see if we can make an eclipse, okay? Can you make your moon ball go through your Earth head shadow? Did everybody make it? Yeah. All right, you just made a lunar eclipse. All right, now, can, let's see, can you stand right over there a little bit? Now, can you get your moon to make a shadow on the Earth? You got it? All right. Everybody see the shadow on the Earth? Yeah. Right. That's a solar eclipse. Everybody standing right, right there underneath that shadow is going to see the sun blocked out by the moon. Okay? Good. Now, do you think that this distance on this scale is right for the distance between the sun and the moon? Do you think it's too close? Too far? Too far? Anybody think it's too close? Maybe too close? Well, we've got two votes, right? So let's find out what's going on. Here, why don't, I, why don't you hand that to her? And then, now I've got this. Let's, we have a model here that's going to, that we can use to actually have a scale model of the Earth and Moon system. Okay? Now, here is the Earth. We've shrunk the Earth down a little bit more. And here's the Moon. Okay, so we have a little bit smaller scale now. Now, how, where do you think this should be on this scale? You want to place it how far away it should be on, on the... About there, you think? Okay. You want to take a guess? Okay. Maybe over here somewhere? Yeah. Is that, does that look right to you, the right distance? Okay. Well, let me give you a hint. The, the, this little Earth is about an inch across, and the, it, there's about 30 times Earth's diameter between Earth and the Moon. So if this is one inch times 30 is how many inches? 30 inches. 30 inches. Good. Okay. So this is at 34, so we'll have to put this where? Mm. At 4. Good. You want to clip that on there? Whoops, that's okay. Good job, okay. Now, let's make a solar eclipse. Can you try and make a solar eclipse? Yeah, you go ahead and try and get the moon's shadow on this little ball right here. There it is! All right, you've just made a solar eclipse. And sometimes it's actually easier if you put your hand up here to find both shadows. You see how that works? Yeah. See how the shadow goes across? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So you can see it wasn't real easy to line up those shadows exactly, was it? Right. Okay. Do you want to try and make a lunar eclipse now? A lunar eclipse. All right. Now check the manual for more ways to expand on these activities and present others using just these moon and earth balls, such as, if I lived on the moon, would the earth have phases? Or, does the moon rotate? Your visitors will enjoy experimenting with these materials. As they do, they may ask, well, wait a minute, why don't eclipses happen every month then? Let's do that next.